Well, there's no doubt during the upcoming Miracle Mile Carnival, which commences virtually tonight with the running of the Honda Grattan Stakes, this fellow behind me, the Kiwi Sensation Krug, is going to be one of the star attractions. Both on and off the track, he's got physical presence, he's an imposing type. I'm joined by his co-trainer, Carter Dalgetti, also his driver, Jack Trainer, to talk about this outstanding individual. Well, Carter, he's getting an imposing figure both on and off the track, this fellow. Yeah, he is. Um, he, he's a real stunner to look at, Ben. He's just a real rip of a bit of delight. So, um, nice black horse, got a beautiful nature for a stallion. So, he's just a gentleman, really. What's his strength as far as his physique is concerned? Uh, yeah, he, he's very strong. Like, he's an outstanding type. You probably wouldn't get a better type. A nice, strong head. So, um, yeah, yeah, it was pretty easy to pick out at the yearling sales. Apart from his physical presence, he's also got a very easygoing nature. Yeah, for sure. Like around the barn at home, he's very quiet. He's he's good with other horses, and even walking around the, the barn and the at the races here, he's pretty good. But there's a bit going on tonight, so um, he's having a good look around. But yeah, he's got a beautiful attitude. What would be his normal daily workout? Uh, normal day, he loves loves to canter. He's he um he sort of jogs in slow motion, so um he's he's pretty smart. He, and then when we hobble, he knows he knows it's time to go. So. Um, he does enjoy a lot of cantering, just just a lot of flexing, really. Going into the uh, Hyundai Gretton, of course, then leading into the Chariots of Fire. E exciting times ahead for the stable. Has Dan ever mentioned comparing this fellow with Chris and me, who naturally won the Chariots of Fire 2013, then backed up a year later with the Miracle Mile? Yeah, they're probably v two very different horses. Chris and me just had speed, like electric speed, like you never felt before. And, and this fellow's very, very tough, so... Probably two different horses, so it's probably pretty hard to compare them. Jack, this time last year, Stylish Memphis arrived at your stabling area, courtesy of your good mate Mark Jones. She certainly put you on the map. This fella's going to keep taking you to another level. Yeah, I hope you're right. Obviously, um, the last years seemed to go really quick for me and um, obviously built up a lot of momentum in my own stable with um, some really nice horses. And, yeah, you did right. A horse like this coming to... You know, be staying with me with under Carter's care and being able to drive such a nice horse. Um, yeah, it's something I'm really grateful for. Jack, we've heard how Carter just mentioned that it, he's got a wonderful personality and a wonderful attitude. When did the eye start rolling and he knows it's business? Yeah, I think he's just a true professional, like Carter said. Um, he just flops around in the warm up from the one drive I've had out of him. Um, and then when he went on the gate, um, from the minute then he knows it's go time. And yeah, he's just a true gentleman to drive. And um, yeah, just a yeah, real pleasure to drive, to be honest. What's it like being in that position, sitting behind a horse like Stylish Memphis and now Krug? It must like be going like driving a, a Toyota or something, then jumping into a Lamborghini. Yeah, it is. That obviously comes with a little bit of pressure, and um, but obviously it's part of the game, and that's what you obviously when you're young you strive to get on horses like this. So um, all that aside, it's something that you know obviously I'm really grateful for, and um, yeah, it's exactly like that. You, you can really feel the difference in power. Can you believe the transformation in your career as a, as a trainer over the past 12 months? Yeah, not really. Like I said, it feels like it's happened really fast and it's all sort of happened, feels to me like it happened overnight. But um, here, here we are a year later and obviously with all the right people behind me and um, having all the right teachers, it's all starting to work out. And yeah, like I said earlier, I'm just so grateful for it. And Carter, as we heard in your interview before, you've known Jack for all, a long time when you're a little boy now. He was only 13 when he came into the Dalgetty household. What's it been like working with him over here? Oh, it's pretty cool, actually. Um, it's like nothing's changed, to be honest. We're just both a bit older and a bit wiser, so, yeah, it's pretty cool to come back. Just remember me. She's certainly making her mark. She is, yeah. She's getting better and better, so um, you'll see every start from her. She's just thriving being in this warm weather. Well, on a sad note, we've talked about this fellow, but on a sad note, the passing of one of the New Zealand greats, in fact, harness racing great on either side of the Tasman, you want to look at it, in Roy Purden during the week at the age of 93. Yeah, Roy, he, he was just, just one of a kind, Roy. Um, my father worked for him for a long time, and my, uh, my granddad and, and him were best friends. So, um, yeah, the Purden family does have a great association with my family, so... <laughs> Very sad time, but um, he was just a real champion and, and trainer that will probably go down as probably the greatest. And Carter would pair that uh, Barry Purden and his wife Katrina have a very nice horse on their hands in Be My Rose, which just won very impressively. Yeah, for sure. She she go, went pretty good in New Zealand, so it's good she's backed it up here. And I think looking at her, she's got a bit more in store. Well, Carter, thanks very much once again for this wonderful insight with Krug. Jack, you've got a driving engagement, so I better let you go. Thanks okay. very much. and. Krug, he looks like he's uh, full of beans, ready to go. Yeah, no, this is a bit unlike him, getting um, pretty worked up, but I think he's pretty happy to be in front of the camera, so, yeah, I'm hoping he runs well.
I think over the, over the Miracle Mile Carnival, Carter, he's going to be in front of the camera a lot more. <laughs> yeah, hopefully a winning photo. <laughs> Fingers crossed.